Yeah, he got a phone call this morning. Mr. John, you know, like I'm a real big fan of yours, but uh, you have to go to jail. This could be the bust we've been waiting for. One half of Cheech and Chong is in a whole lot of trouble. You may have heard of Cheech and Chong, a comedy duo. Welcome no, no, to Let's make a dope deal. Hey. Tommy Chong's internet business might go up in smoke. Federal agents raided the actor comedians on. Tommy Chong was sentenced to nine months in federal prison for selling bongs on the internet. Finally, the terror alert can go back to green. <laughs> in here because I made a stupid joke about the bongs being the only weapons of mass destruction that the Bush administration had found. And next thing I know, I'm looking at nine months. Thanks for holding. They must have called like 20 different times trying to contact us. I got a bummer email that says, you guys don't ship to me. Isn't that entrapment? They've asked you to send it. Isn't that entrapment? I, yeah, but okay. this is America. Okay, <laughs> yeah. There's no such thing as entrapment anymore. She was the national U.S. attorney in charge of the task force on drug paraphernalia. So we knew we had problems. The gas mask bong, you would put the gas mask on your face and then ingest the, uh, the marijuana. So you can have your hands free. No oh, man, it's so fucking weird getting busted for bongs. They really got me by surprise with that one. <laughs> When they raided my house, man, I thought they were looking for dope. I don't know. said, do you have any narcotics in your house? Of course, I'm Tommy Chong. Man. Much of the war on marijuana is really a war on the 60s. It's a way of enforcing conformity on people. The, the pot laws have very little to do with this plant and everything to do with the people who smoked it. America's public enemy number one is drug abuse. The catchphrase of the 70s, do your own thing, has been replaced in the 80s by just say no. We've always been into drugs somewhere along the line. <laughs> the only thing we've never been is like an ex-drug user. You got any narcotics or marijuana in here? <coughs> Not anymore. What the they, even in the transcripts, they, they said, you know, that I'm in here because I did these movies. They argued that uh, Tommy became wealthy by glamorizing the illegal distribution and use of marijuana, and they cited uh, his film uh, Up in Smoke. The idea that anyone would have to serve an extra day in prison because of a comedy routine, that's like the worst paranoid Cheech and Chong fantasy from the early 70s come true. Hey, man, look, the house is being raided, man. Get out of the house. This is America. You get to criticize the government in this country. You get to say, I think these guys are ridiculous. That's a, a lot of work in behalf of the American people and the children of America. I think if they want to get you, they get you. If you quit drugs, you join the fight against terror in America. If anyone feels safer because Tommy was put in jail, that's a ridiculous human being. See, there's no set rules because you never know. Like a lot of people say it was wrong for this guy to go to jail, but yet he wrote a great novel while he was in there. Now,